And, and look who's here with us, Ed Bastian, CEO of uh, Delta Airlines. Uh, on a day you guys are going to be presenting a little bit later on, along with another, a number of other airline CEOs at J.P. Morgan's conference. Um, but you put out your, uh, your latest guidance this morning, reaffirming what you're expecting for the first quarter and the rest of this year. And we've asked this, I know, a million times. But overall, are you seeing any deterioration at all in terms of the demand that's out there right now? We really aren't, Phil. First of all, good to be with you. Becky, Andrew, thanks for having me. Uh, the demand is really strong, and as a result of that, we were able to confirm not just the fact that we'll be profitable this quarter, as we said at the start of the year, but also our full year guidance. Uh, I'll give you one data point, because everyone keeps asking that question. They've been asking that question right. for the better part of the last year. The 10 highest sales days in our company's history have all occurred within the last 30 days. 10 highest in our history. Yeah. In terms of day, days for flying, or is that booking sales. out? How is it for sales? Sales, cash, yeah. cash it. You know, so nobody's of, slowing down. So, so part of it is behavioral shift. So consumers are buying out a little further, a little earlier in the cycle because they remember last spring and summer, you know, right. challenges of, of traveling, yeah. uh, but also the core demand. How, how much of it is higher ticket prices, too, if you look at per seats versus... Prices have consistently stayed somewhere between 15 to 20 percent higher reference to 19. So that's four years ago. So with inflation and everything, it's, it's really not significantly higher than, than 19, but it's in that range. You know, uh, United's 8K came out last night. I'm not going to ask you to comment on another airline's 8K, but the wording within their 8K has people wondering if we're starting to see a return to seasonality because they say the growth that they've seen in January and February, not as strong as the growth they're expecting in traditionally stronger months, a.k.a. we're seeing a return to seasonality within the airline business. Do you expect it to be a return to seasonality, let's say, by the end of this year, next year? Um, because for a long time, all it has been is go, go, go. People are booking. People are booking. Yeah, you know, seasonality is a real thing in our business. You know, at the end of the Christmas holidays, and you know, people get back to work, they get back to school. There's there's a natural pullback as compared to the the holiday season or compared to spring break, which we're in now. So, now we we anticipated uh, seasonality. I think seasonality may have been muted a touch last year, but we don't we don't see that trend. By the way, for us, seasonality now we're in season. And we see the season running right through Labor Day. Can I ask you, just, this is not a seasonality question, but it be a weekly question. I remember there was a period of time where the, the highest volume flights were Thursday nights. At Thursday nights and Monday nights, which had changed from Friday nights and Sunday nights. Mm -hmm. Right. This sort of hybrid work world. Has that shifted at all? Yeah. yeah we're, we're seeing a leveling out during the week of travel, particularly business travelers that are traveling as hybrid workers. Um, so, but the idea that Tuesday, people are going, so to, going, Tuesday, going to an Airbnb so, for four days to go work. Well, you get that, but you also see Tuesday mornings are okay. interestingly right. quite busy because you have a lot of the consultancies going out for right. just two days a week rather than four days. So Mondays are, are slower as compared to what they had been historically. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays are actually a bit higher. But it's not necessarily that people aren't working in the office. It's that's when the consultants are traveling because nobody's they, they, in the office outside Yeah, because of the, the consultants that are on the road all the time, and the consultancies tend to be our biggest corporate travelers. They're, they're having fewer trips, smaller duration, but actually by having the smaller duration, they can... Consultants are not salespeople. <laughs> these are consultants. Sales, Interesting. Yeah, no, the, the sales, sales has moved online. What's happened? Sales has partly moved online, but sales, yeah, they're, still, they're still big. But consultancies, professional service firms, the accountants, the lawyers, they tend to be, and they have been for the last decade, the highest volume travelers in terms of price as well as, as, well as volume that we have.